Hey, YouTube. <laughs> what, eh? So it's got. Hey, hey YouTube. I know <laughs> somewhere else there. So more pointies. Pointies I do like. Play, it's a flying V, this one, so it's very. Um, it's called, I'd always play balls to the wall. Or trees. And then change it so I don't get a proper next time. Mm -hmm. okay. I used to play that all the time as a teenager. Yeah. Cool. Oh, right, sorry, yes. So, pointies, uh, that Thank one you. used to be mine. So this one, uh, well, I'll talk comes... about. I'll talk about this one. You can talk about this one because I know what that is. Well, yeah, the, remember I'm talking about how this one has been demodified in some ways. That it actually came much better than it is at the moment. Like I had a push pull pot on it at one point. Did you not take the push pull pot from somewhere for something? Possibly did, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, originally it was specified to split, but it's not. It's just straight at the moment. Yes. No, I wired it the way straight. I wired, wired it the way it's meant to be split at three push pull pots. Yeah, it's not got any. Because what it's but what I do notice is it's just now that so we've got a master I mean I just invented this wiring, so it's, it's a master volume. That's a volume for the middle pickup. Mm -hmm. And then that's a, a master tone and then it's obviously you can sort of blend in the middle pickup. Mm -hmm. But that's kinda the way it would be with push pulls, apart from it was a coil split, a phase and another coil split. Tons of stuff going on. It was there. like 27 combination or something at that guitar from Stock Dead, but it doesn't and have that when anymore. When was this guitar made? This is quite an old boy, even though it looks like it should, wants to take off and fly off out that window. Yeah, the first number in the serial number is the. 308. It's a 1983. Um, 0881. Yeah, 3, three, zero, three is uh, the year, and yeah. I think 08's the month, so I think it's like August 1983. And then there's a production number after that. I think somebody told me that relatively recently. But the first number on a West tone is definitely the year. So this is a vintage guitar then? Oh, easily. Well, it's it's near, near 30 year vintage. It looks like a span up, doesn't it? Yeah. Also looks like something you could hold somebody back with, do you know what I mean? <coughs> mm -hmm. It's not quite as weapony as the... It's the sort of spanner yeah. Isenbard Kingdom Brunel had. Yeah, but it's <laughs> fast, do you know what I mean? Fast. Oh, it's actually sensible because you can actually like yeah. I'll sit a flying beer on my leg. With this I'll, one, ju I'll just sit a flying beer on my leg. You kind of do it with that one. With, with this one, you kind of can. Like you face the way, but you kind of can. Yeah. And it's kind of comfortable. Do you know what I mean? This is quite good because it's flattened off at the edge, so it's. <laughs> I, I should drink beer and drink. You know, this is a perfect beer guitar, possibly. I'm sure you could find a bit to open a beer on it. No problem at all. Yeah, <laughs> I see it's had uh, quite uh, a few, um, a few strap more. button placements. Yeah, but this is how it came to me. Actually, we've done nothing to this guitar. Well, I set set it up, but yeah, it's had a few changes. Yeah, because it used to be mine. As so a, no, I actually think somebody's possibly had it as a lefty at one point because I think I was wondering that because it's yeah. not that you can see it. Not that, not that. Not that it, it's the same shape. Basically, it's symmetrical. Because it? this came with. There's me again with the volume knobs going full blast. I'm terrible. <laughs> anyway, aye, this one's got in the middle. Is that you buzzing or is that me? I think it's you. Um, um, anyway, this one's got an in the middle button. And it's got the standard strap. Trem. Yeah, but the, I, I bought it without a trem, so yeah. that, that trem's from something else. Although yeah. it's a big block one. It's so actually quite a, quite a big block. I was going to say it looks like a Mexican strap, but it could actually be a Mexican strap. It could strap actually then. be a Mexican strap. Or maybe... Be a <coughs> or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. It's, uh, yeah. it's big block. It's. I don't actually, think that guitar's actually meant to have black hardware. Right. Because I don't think it had tuners on it. I can't remember what those tuners came off, yeah. but the black tuners and a black bridge, I think it's got chrome. But 84 actually, was the year of black hardware. It actually works really well. I mean, I've had it set up to be slightly floating before, and then I uh, regained my senses <laughs> <laughs> and flatted it completely. So it's completely solid onto there, and the bridge, uh, the bar never goes in because who wants to use one of them? This wow. is just natural reverb, the springs. 
It basically is. It gives yes. the guitar that air of reverb when you're playing, especially if you're playing it without an amp on your leg, on your lap, on your lap. Yeah. Because you've got those springs doing that spring. Thing. I've been muting them to be honest recently. Depends whether sometimes they're really annoying because you can't you kind of go ching and then the guitar goes. Yeah. But this has also got a record. I don't know if you can see that. That's a record, and that was probably okay. you. It would have been me. Uh, what what yeah. was it in Eddie? Do you remember? Mm. It wouldn't have been a good record. I did go through, through a stage. De, Sydney Divine, the man who put the country and western. Uh, could be, could I be it's quite it's quite a similar <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I, I bought I bought that basically as the just like it was just the body in the neck. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I really like it, even though it does look like a massive spanner. Zoidberg's claw. Yeah, it looks like, like something you want to take nuts off of a big bridge with, do you know what I mean? <laughs> something really big. Make the like a key, it's like a sci fi movie key. Yeah. But also there's a few it's had a few of these as well, look. So you can see that, can you? <coughs> yeah. It seems like a nuclear reactor. It's but it's, this well, has been moved around and it's this isn't the original one, is it? It's obviously mm, been bigger. It be no, it'll just it'll just be something out in my parts box. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's also got a black neck. So it's been completely painted black and it's not been painted black on the front but it's just a really dark dark rosewood <laughs> so i think when they started doing the bbr guitars yeah, it's very dark, very dark. and it's the the it says electra is that what that says it's electra yeah so this is yeah there are other ones it's not a, yeah, not a bodge together job actually american and japanese and stuff like that they just it was called a west tone when it came here and it had a different shaped head yeah so electra were an american it was yeah. somewhere in america they had uh they imported guitars from matsumoku mm -hmm. and west tone were matsumoku's home make that get sold mm -hmm. in the uk mm -hmm. and some of the guitars kind of cross over they're not exactly the same ranges electra mm -hmm. went on before that though well I, um, the interesting and then so you can get that one as an electra mm -hmm. If you can get it where it says West Tone uh -huh. and Electra, and you can get like a later on one which has got a pointy headstock that says West Tone on it. Yeah. But it's, it's still a West Tone uh, neck plate. When I was uh, a teenager, that was a long time ago, I had a photograph from one of the guitar magazines of this guitar and another two of this guitar. It was like a red one, a blue one, and a white one, all flying together in a picture like aeroplanes. So it was when I first saw it in your house, I went a bit mental. Yeah, <laughs> it was in the corner, like I'd stolen, the, I'd stolen the strings or the tuners or the pickups or something else. Geez and it. he just, he just like, that, that, and then it. once, but once I put it back together yeah. again, done a video of it, I'll tell you, we'll it's, do a deal. It's, it's great. I really like it. Nah, I, yeah. I'm glad it went to him. If, if he hadn't yeah. said, I would just have kept Look it. Look how mental it is. It really is completely bonkers. It is. Have you seen the rounded one? Maybe. The oh. lazy basically the same part from it doesn't have any angles it's just round it's it's like, <laughs> it just looks like a pillow no but this is almost looks like it's moving do you know what i mean yes fast I'd... looking thing yeah and uh we it's been actually it's been rolled back hasn't it when this when this first came out it was everything was what happened <laughs> tell us what happened to these three things here they were all gone right these are standard pots now Right, look at the, by the way, look at the caps that are on there. Have you noticed? Do you notice what they are? The original Matsumoku. Yeah. They weren't on it when I gave you. No. Haha, <laughs> see, because I would have kept them. <laughs> I think they are the ones that I was looking for, but I said they were off that base, and I could only find one of them. There's <laughs> still a three. Oh, right, off the, <laughs> the area base? Yeah. <laughs> but I can't be off that road, so I've got Something two knobs. Like oh, no, I don't. Uh, I don't know how many knobs <laughs> it originally had. The scratch plate was missing. So I put, I put two knobs I've got on a it. feeling that it's the, the, that's where theirs came from, but yeah, somebody's Do been very creative and done a. Can you see it? Is it okay. It's like a heart. Yeah. If, if you look back at my videos, you see it when I got yeah. it, and it was like totally. Someone's just scratched it in with a compass, I think. Something like that, yeah. But I've tea cut it to try and get get it out. It's, it's left a remnant there, but I don't mind it. I'm not. I'm not. You only notice it once you notice it's there. Yeah. I mean, I'm not at, at all, but this, these were all push, pull, what, what did they do again, originally? Cross, this was released cross, but <coughs> Yeah, uh, this was originally in the 80s, right? 83. Right, so it's, there's guitars well, there's, come out, there's guitars when, when come did the HSH come out? Exactly. That's well, the, the, the 83, they had HSH in that guitar. Notice. And it was all split and it all done everything, and that's really just become an aspect, like a, a requirement now. Yeah. You know, your new Ibanezes and stuff like that are coming out and they've all got all of this coil splitting facility built in a standard. Yep. But I think and even these guys had it back in the eighties. I think even all the to mm -hmm. be honest, all the West Tones have all do 
cost button. Uh-huh. Even the cheapest ones, like the Spectrum and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure they've got push pull ports. Mm-hmm. Maybe just like at least a phase sort of thing. Yeah, but I used to lie as a, a young kid looking at this guitar and it's two brothers on a picture. I'll need to find it. Yeah. <coughs> on no, the wall. I, I like the look of it. I, yeah. I don't think I've actually took it at the studio. The pickups in it aren't the original ones either. I didn't have pickups, so they are from a... Yeah, uh, something. They're actually okay. Yes, they're from a Squire Jim Root. Right. Well, do you know, the thing about this guitar is, even without the anything plugged in, it should... That'll be all maple, I think. Very bright, eh? Yeah, it's a West Stone Spectrum, but it's a better shape. It's like a Telecaster, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So it's a Fender scale. Isn't it? Ah, it is a Fender scale, yeah. It's a definitely, it feels like a Fender. Yeah, it's, a, it's a Fender Strat scale with... A Fender that, Strat bridge and, and HSA. HSA, yeah. HSA. And it's a marvellous guitar. <coughs> yeah, I kind of like it again. Know, the way I've got it in my house is, this is where I actually sit and watch the telly and whatnot. He's in my spot. <laughs> <coughs> but it hangs right in front of me, so I, we look at it all the time. All the jaggy stuff, so long like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, don't don't tend to look at the Hello Kitty's quite as <laughs> often. It really is, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. You hate it, don't you? <laughs> no, I don't hate it. I, oh, I, it's I, not I like your it. No, I, well, I would have kept it. It's yeah. only the fact that you reacted the way you did, yeah. it was like pure well. I don't love it that much, as much as he does. Yeah. God, it's a pure, I'll give you anything. Do you know what I'm literally thinking? I want to own that guitar one day. Yes. I think my, my, my initial promise was that if I sell it, yeah. I'll sell it to you. <laughs> so I think. And we've yeah. done some sort of deal. Then six months later, it was like, oh, I've not really even deal played deal. it, I forgot about it. So another one of these really loose deals that we do. You know what I mean? <laughs> Typical yeah. guitar guy deal. Yeah, it's swap you for blah, 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 and then we forget what we swapped for. But right, okay. Yeah, definitely did. I do. <laughs> Was that the one that was for the Yamaha? No. <coughs> was that the other one? I can't remember. <coughs> Excuse me, though, the Yamaha was... What was the Yamaha? I can't remember. Was it not the... Dean... Dine? Oh. I think it was. I can't remember. I don't anyway, know. I don't Jaggy know. Electra. And then the next other one is... <coughs> a Washburn, which I had done a video for before, but this will actually have information for. <coughs> so the idea there was I was going to tell you about that guitar because I know about it, but Scott told you, so I can't really well, know no, it. No, I don't... <laughs> you know the, how the original specification went with all of the fanciness that this had. Yeah. Um, so, this is who a who signature? Right, this guitar was made for um, by Washburn for Black Label Society. Oh, right. That's yeah. someone I'd actually heard of. Yeah, right. Black Label Society. <laughs> and he'd done two of them and they called them the Evil Twins. There was the Flying V and there was another guitar and it was like a kind of destroyer shaped type thing and that was the other evil twin but they went with who did they go with Gibson they went with somebody else they didn't they go with Zach Wilde well, Zach Wilde <laughs> went with everyone no I think he, he went with a sp- at, at, at the time he was at a junction was he going to go with Washburn because of the Dine connection and all of that sort of stuff yep or was he going to go Washburn or was he going to go Gibson I think he went Gibson <coughs> that's the way he went and that's one of the washburns that they done. So that's a custom shop, Evil Twin. And it came with EMGs, the Zach Wild set. Right. And, and it's now Seymour Duncan Duck. It's now got Seymour Duncan, JB, yep. and Jazz. And I would reckon it's uh, a <coughs> Yeah. 2008. And Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah. <coughs> Yamaha Japan tuners which you just told me were off his yeah we st- stole the tuners off it because it's got 1 to 19 grovers is what it came with and it came with EMG and all of the it was actually a really well it is a really well specified guitar yeah I don't know if you can actually see in the it's a really lovely top on it it does yes it's kind of the same thing as that white Ivan as I was talking mm-hmm. about with you get, mm-hmm. if you get the angle right it's just yeah. not really going to show up it's yeah. not black yeah. it's got it's that sort of see through yeah, so well, it's, it's, it's got, got like a, a flame maple top on the yeah. front and on the back you can see it's a uh, mahogany, two, mahogany two yeah. piece. And it's, it's actually purple. In it's this light. lovely, it's a really lovely guitar. I mean, the specifications through the roof and where you put the jack socket, it's really cool. It's a strap one. It's, on, it's a strap one. I've right. stolen the black one. <laughs> <laughs> stolen the black one and it's over there somewhere. In fact, it's there. Look. <laughs> So that'll be the tone control off then. Aye, so it's, two really nice, it's got a really nice neck on it. It's got gigantic 
gigantic jumbo frets. Jumbo frets. It's got a really thick lay slab of dark chocolate. I mean, look at the cover of the neck wood. It's mm-hmm. lovely. Mm-hmm. It's a really nice chunk of wood. Isn't it? Indeed, it is. <laughs> It does have Together, markings on the edge of the fretboard. To give it its wood. technical name, chunk yeah. of wood. It's lovely. It's a beautiful piece of constructed wood. It's it's a, a glued in neck, and it's got kind of standard, but it's very Gibsony. To be honest with you, it's smaller than a Gibson, fine V. Right. Slightly smaller. <coughs> okay. It's a full thickness, and it's it's got a nitro finish on it. You can actually see it start to sink in now. All right. Cool. It's quite an expensive one then. It's that very it's, it's got my favourite Washburn logo, which kind of yeah, looks like the Munsters, right? Well, that's what they call it, the Munsters one. And I like the shape of the headstock for a, for a flying V, it's one yeah. of my favourites. Mm-hmm. And I've played that guitar all over the place in a ska band. It's oh. very good neck as well. It's in need of a setup. It's because <laughs> the last time it was set up, it was set up during the winter. And it's now the summer. <laughs> Get your guitar serviced seasonally. <laughs> seasonally. Between winter and summer, your ambient temperature in your living room is remarkably different, right? Have two guitars, one a summer guitar and a winter guitar. No, I've got a room full of guitars that I have to set up. It's like the fourth road rail bridge, to be honest with you. Yes. <coughs> but that one's not had its summer set up yet, so it's still in winter mode and maybe... Yeah, don't play it. I do find you see the... Yeah. I don't, I don't mind there not been any fret markings, yeah. right? But because that starts on the 11th, yeah. I went to the 11th. Yeah, obviously, the middle of it's the 12th, yeah. but it kind of goes over the 11th, 12th, and yeah. 13th. And because see, you've only got the one. You can't thing. actually see most of it. I've blotted most of it out because it. I'm not in there. I don't know if you've Oh, right, I see that. Yeah, I thought yeah, it was, it's most, of, cut, uh, most of my guitars are very light on the fret markers thing. I don't yeah. go for gigantic ones. I mean, the Les Paul was unavoidable. Yeah. The came with trap I, it don't really make any difference to me. I don't see them, but I, I can can't just because, because, because I'm playing yeah. a flying V sitting on my lap, so it's kind of. As an aesthetic, I really like the idea of just being a uniform one colour. A very dark guitar. Mm. Yeah. Now, the wiring in this guitar is the funny part. <laughs> is it funny? Well, yeah. Did I wire it? <laughs> you did. So it was my specification, my idea. If you hold it up, you'll notice that it's missing stuff. It's missing a pickup selector, so you don't have a pickup selector for this guitar. What we do is we've got two master, two volumes and a master tone. Jazz bass. Jazz bass, basically. So what you do is you just blend on the fly. Do you know what I mean? Do I want a neck pickup? Do I want a bridge pickup? Do I want a bridge pickup? Do I want a bridge pickup? Case. It comes with a proper wash, wash burn tour case, soft, hard shell. Yeah, thing. hard shell case. Yeah. Aye, we're taking them. It's got the right. Aye, it's got really fancy. Well, the stuff. locking. It's tone pros, so it's a tone pros bridge setup, and it's amazing. So what it does is it all it all locks together. If you look kind of behind, you'll see there's kind of wee Allen keyholes. Yep. Right on the top here. Around about yeah, that you basically get it once you've got your positioning and get everything set up. It all locks together. So when you take your strings off, nothing falls off the guitar it's great what a difference that makes uh, I was it's like when it, when it yeah. falls off and you're sitting there because obviously sometimes uh-huh. when I change things really you only might change one at a time but it's like all that dust and stuff like it's mm-hmm. the it's, only way really, when you've got the strings that's when yeah. you clean that, 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 that it's got it's Gibson scale length right um, most of the kind of hardtail bridges that I've got I like to wrap over but you can't do it with the Tone Pros because it's again one of these arced ones so it doesn't sit Right. Probably on the guitar, it's oh, okay. really even and it just doesn't work. <clears throat> right. So you kind of that's the only drawback of a tone pro setup. But again, it's you, as you can see, it's solid. It really is completely solid. Yeah. <coughs> I was actually it feels it. yeah. What I was going to do was going to get one of those setups for my Yamaha. I was like, I'm actually glad I didn't if it happens because mm. I'd have to, I would have had to <laughs> further route the guitar. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's a fantastic guitar that one. Very yeah. very high spec. <laughs> V is a great guitar to play standing up 
It's actually not too bad sitting down, is it? Really? I'm kind of used to it, but yes. Yeah, it this is the, the fact that it's got the output yeah. jack here where it doesn't hit off your leg. Even the one that I've... Mine's just got it on the front. But when, you've, when you're hanging it in a strap, you've yeah, always, that means that, that yeah. you've always got to have this cable coming up big and then round yeah, your strap loop. somewhere, so you get a big loop that's kind of... It's kind of like a fishing hook almost, having that on a guitar, you're going to catch it on something. Yeah. It's going to be wet. <laughs> <laughs> different things going on when you start putting the pickups well, see, up once you down. start messing about with the pickup volumes and stuff you start blending it and then you've got that tone as well which is quite neat nice yeah but if you go for the booming tone you can go off the tone it's just quite quite good if you're into that booming I'm not sure what tone even, even tones with, are in it. That's even with that, it's still. Almost ineffectual until the last notch, kind of thing. Yeah. Whereas when you use that one, it's quite a good, good note. It seems to be doing things all over the place. It's like when you put one pickup up, doesn't necessarily mean you think, oh, I'm sitting on the, the neck and the bridge. If I turn the bridge down, it'll get bassier. It doesn't necessarily work doesn't that way. Necessarily work that way. Because you, I don't know, the must frequencies must cancel out or I don't know. It's really stuff. cool, do you know what I mean? It's. Um, I don't know if it's going to be everybody's bag, is it? Because of see the, the two volume things doesn't <coughs> annoy me in this guitar uh, because I think maybe that's where the volume is on my flying V. I, I think. I, I think most but it's, 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 when, it's when you've got like a strap. Yeah. And you're just so used to a strap with volume there. So any other guitar, any crazy shaped guitar, you're like, oh, where are the volume? But I mean, you get a lot of guitarists. Uh, yeah, you've seen them, the guys who play. Wes Paul's and they want to literally knock the switch off the guitar whenever they're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> what would they do with that guitar? They'd be on that and like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Because there's the, I think people would miss the switch being missing. What do you think playing it live? I didn't, didn't. You could manage that without, a, without, see I think there's a lot of confidence to be had from a switch. Do you know what I mean? Where you can physically see where you are, where is it with that guitar? No, no, no. There's no, no numbers, numbers on it or anything. You put numbers on it, but I mean, I know what you mean. There's nothing on that. It's like the thing about having the switch in it, is the yeah. switch is something that can break. You've really Whereas the switch can't break yeah. in this one. It can still, obviously, you know. An interesting thing, though, is it actually forces you to listen to what you're playing and it actually, do you know what I mean? You become very aware of your sound and ba the, the fact that you can balance it. Mm -hmm. And how it's almost counterintuitive at times. So you think, yeah. if I turn this one down, this is going to make that. Then it, no. <laughs> you get all these sort of, it's almost like filter nuances, sweeps in it, where it's just like your whoop. So nuances, you get, it's the same yeah. with a jazz bass. It's a magic point on a jazz bass, or most of them, when you've got the, you put both the volumes yeah, up in full and you throttle back one of them to a certain point and suddenly it goes, whoa. Well, see, that's with that one. Just, if you turn the bridge all the way up and then you turn the neck off and then just go down very slightly, it's just all of a sudden. Sounds you get there. It goes between the kind of women sound right all yeah. the way down to really sharp. It doesn't seem to really push the volume as much, it's more of a gain push. Yeah, no, lots of turn fidget, that's all it's doing. Well, there's stuff underneath as well. You've got the treble bleed. Oh, right. It's on everything that right. I've got. It's not right. on this yet. 
Right. This needs it. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, it's I know someone who could put that back to being the original three push pull box. Do you know what? I quite fancy that because it's now that I've had it off the wall and I'm sitting with it in my lap, it's actually quite a comfort. We get you've got to cuddle to play. It's one of those ones. Yeah. It's also quite hooked on, but that's yeah. definitely not letting you escape. Yeah, and, so it, it, and it's not got a. St- well, that one's not too bad either. It's not got a really stupid jack output. No, this is. Yeah. This is quite sexy. Sexy? Is that the wrong? That's not the right word, is it? No. This is sensual. Well, do you know what it is? It's, <laughs> it's not. Worse. It's like a f- Art Deco fifties, sixties yeah. vibe to me. Mm-hmm. To my eye, it's like what they used to make the rocket ships look like in Flash Gordon. Mm-hmm. <coughs> or the weapons, or something. Or the spacing. It could be like a space invader <coughs> body or very, something well, like it's that. It's very Japanese. Eighties spaceship design do you know what I mean when you look at the magazines and the anime from the back of them which was amazing and it's like, it comes down to what does it what does so it play feel and sound like it's a strap it feels like, like a strap <laughs> it's like all right well even a telecaster even and that neck even although it's painted is quite nice do you know what I mean it's it's quite a handful I would say it's like a C profile strap yeah I think the necks are pretty much the same at all it's very similar neck to what's on my radar yeah. and what's on and it's quite solid do you know what I mean there's not a lot of play at all <coughs> As well, it's the classic we look at the, what you want to a lot of neck contact it's usually with a well even with a V and that it's like that's just bolt on and it's like it's that, that's, that's pure sticking it like see what you can do with the back I know it says that's not much wood it's nailed on to but this is a, I'm well, sure you know what we're doing but yeah that's they didn't make it which is a shame <laughs> I don't know if it makes it a value guitar I don't know I don't think so you don't really see them in the wild that's the only one I've ever seen I remember seeing it in Guitar Player. Right. I would try, maybe try and get the Guitar Player. No, put put no. it in its put it in its original case. And don't no, don't don't no, don't go there. <coughs> the problem with the, the guitars is they've done two of them, and it was for the two guitarists and the band. Right. Right. And one of them turned out to be a nonce. He had been texting a sixteen-year-old girl. who turned out to be a bad guy, right? All oh, right, and in fact, I, I don't really know that much. I didn't. I never really. Liked yeah, and he got fired right. out of the band, which is great. Launched right. into outer space and blah 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 blah. Disappeared, mm. but that was the that was that time scale. Unfortunately, even though that's a lovely guitar and it's kind of specified really well. Yeah. His brother. His brothers. Well, his brothers. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like, well, it's allegedly, but well, I was somebody in the family group. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So it's guilty by associate with Just d- d- did something dodgy, basically. The thing is, allegedly ran away from them. That, that was part right. of it, do you know what I mean? And, and fortunately, Zach Wilde done the right thing by firing the guy immediately, no questions yeah. asked. Uh, it's just gone. Yeah. Fuck you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he done the right thing, but... They've got a guitar. Well, I have to say that, I mean, it's nicer than... Well, looking... Well, it's a shame, because it's, it's, I think... It's it's he's got his... Is that wild guitars now or wild guitars? Are wild called? audios or they, they're kind of interesting looking, but it's not the sort of thing. I mean, I, I went, to, I saw him uh, play with Ozzy at yeah. downloads a couple of years ago, and I think he, he must have gone through at least 15 of these wild guitars. You had like an SG with a bullseye on it and flying V legs, and See, then you had like some really crazy looking ones. I'm never a fan of bullseye ones, though, really. Ah, I've got my triple neck. I made, I made my triple neck like the Vertigo record label, you know, the thing that spins and looks like I've gone into space. That mm. thing, and uh, apparently that's what Zach Wilde asked for on his original one, but he got it back as a target thing. <laughs> as a target, and just yeah. left it. But I didn't know that when I did mine. But yeah, I've used that guitar live many times, and it's really solid and reliable. Yep. It's got a buzz. What's it got again? It's got a buzz. Feet. The buzz feet and tr- tuning system. Buzz. Feet which is it's the nut, isn't it? System. It's a funny, it's, it's a funny it's thing in the nut. The nut. It's the way it's cut. Yeah, the where it the the string contacts further right. back on the high strings to, to fix the intonation that yeah. problems that you normally get on the neck they've done it for long enough it's like uh, so it's like my favourite modern washburn uh, so yeah, definitely the newest washburn well, I think I've probably ever played so my favourite yeah, newest one the thing was they ran away from it as a model yeah. because of quite rightly they ran away yeah. from that and the other one that they made so it never made it any being a production guitar but it's bitching can you agree on it it's a bitching guitar it's bitching uh, I mean, that neck's quite nice, isn't it? It does feel it's really like a, funny it does feel like a flying V, though. you stand up and play a flying V, if you've been playing a Strat, more, uh, more a Strat than a Les Paul, if you stand up and start playing one of them, you feel that you're going to fall off the guitar because there's so much 
space here, do you know what I mean? You, yes. get, you get completely lost because you're used to having a... It's, 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 even, more ex, it's even more extreme like a, yeah. than an Explorer, because an Explorer, at least you've got this big bit down here, whereas yeah. in, on, at that, as I say, in the top, suddenly it's like where... There's nothing there, yeah, when you look down, it's just all guitar. Especially that. Like, oh, that's wait, good <laughs> Especially when you're going to solo, when you're going to solo, you get a bit lost. It takes you a bit of time because you can see more than you do. Yeah, yeah that one has rolled back specification. Rolled it back. Is that what you call it? Rolled that back? You've changed it to be more like a flying V. As yeah. opposed to being Jack Wells spec was probably a flying V slightly smaller but with the active metal stuff in it. Whereas you've got the pickups there. Yeah. They were horrible. I've got a set of uh, Epiphone, yeah. not, not Epiphone, Squire active pickups. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? Look like, like EMGs, I want to find the wrong guitar to put them I've done a swap with a guy, um, and I basically gave him everything out of the guitars. He'd just take the lot I wanted to set fire to. It was awful. The EMGs. And I've done a direct swap to get those two, so I've done badly in the deal, but I didn't care because the pickups were that bad. Got, I just wanted them out of my life. Uh, so we I've never met EMG of ease of light, but I've never really no. played a guitar that's got. Them well, do you know, they're actually. It does, it does weird things to your EQ. Mm. I mean, I've got EQ in my amp, and that's how I set my EQ, right? I don't yeah. need my pickup to cut my, 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 my do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mid-scoop me, so, excuse me? <laughs> Did I mean, I said that up at the start. That? Yeah. If you want to be mid-scoop, do you have a pedal or you do something? You don't have it. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm hungry. Yeah, well, okay, but what we've got was electron, it's blah, 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 and that's a wash burn. I actually don't know what the mod. It never even made it to have it. an evil twin. And the most of an evil twin. It's a it's a custom shop, Robbie. And it's good. <clears throat> it's lovely. Rocket, catch you later.